peace, peace. I'm making this uh, audio recording because I came across some disturbing information pertaining to economic atrocities that has been allowed to continue for the past, I would say, 50 years. Now there's this uh, organization, this government agency called the Minority Business Development Agency, which was established in 1971 by way of uh, executive order by President Richard Nixon to help the so-called minorities get their businesses financed and started and to be successful. It has been successful up until 1977 when uh, then-President Jimmy Carter weakened the organization stripped the entire leadership apparatus. And since 1977, the organization has been laying dormant, facing the annihilation by each president. Trump, he made the organization permanent and part of the Department of Commerce. But this particular organization has one office in every state, and a state that's in Illinois is in Elgin, Illinois. So uh, when I called them up, I was informed that black people don't have anything particularly set aside for them specifically. All of the minorities has to get in line. First come, first serve. That means the Hispanics, the Native Americans, the white women, the women, East Indians, the Asians, Africans, like everybody except uh, white males, unless they're considered so-called half Indian or whatever. They can call themselves Indians and get qualified for these so-called minority benefits. But when Nixon made this executive order, this was two years after Chairman Fred Hampton of the Black Panther Party was assassinated in Chicago. When the women's liberation movement began to take promise, it kind of took over, the women's liberation movement took over the civil rights movement because the black women, they all joined white women. So the shift went away from uh, black struggle to women's struggle, women's issues, abortion, promiscuity, working in the workforce, equal pay, all of these issues took precedence over the black people's issues. Black people was kind of swept under the rug. But these organizations was created, these acts, civil rights acts, these laws, these affirmative action stuff, was created because of the struggle and the protests and the movement led by people like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X. You know, they pressured the government. The point I'm trying to make is the black people were the catalyst and the purpose for these organizations to exist. And these resources was remedies to actually help heal the wounds that was caused to these particular people, my particular people for the last several generations. We was dealing with torture, terror, murder, genocide, lynchings. They'll come in and burn down a whole black city, like in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we have no committees to investigate Tulsa, Oklahoma. Emmett Till, a young boy from Chicago, was murdered, pistol whipped lynch annihilated and nobody was brought to justice for that you know he has legal segregation blacks only whites only this was something that was targeted to a particular group of people but a lot of the beneficiaries of the black people's struggle for freedom and equality is going to people who never really experienced none of those atrocities in the united states I mean, a lot of these particular groups of people already have received reparations and benefits and acts and money dedicated and tailored towards them but when they get it for themselves the black people aren't included in those benefits when the japanese were put in internment camps during world war ii they were given reparations for what happened to them collectively millions of dollars was given to the japanese americans and the black people aren't getting any of that money and when the uh, jews receive reparations every year billions of dollars every year for what happened to them in the holocaust the black people gets none of that. When Biden chose to pay billions of dollars in reparations to illegal immigrant children that were separated from their parents at the border, he didn't include black people in none of that. Black people can't benefit from Native American reparations and uh, tax-free status, free education. None of the resources that is allocated to Native Americans, many of whom are $5 Indians. In 2020, when President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris made the anti-Asian American hate crime bill, which included billions of dollars for their businesses, the black people weren't beneficiaries of that. And these economic atrocities are allowed. Black people have to get in line with all of these groups of people to get so-called minority benefits. And these benefits are usually devoured, consumed, before you could even fill out an application. 
Yeah, all of these groups are included in programs set up to assist black people achieve equality after generations of oppression, slavery, segregation, and genocide. And these groups exhaust all of the resources, leaving nothing for the black community, nor do they advocate for the black community to receive any of the resources that should go to them. And there's no set aside, there's nothing specifically for you. If it's the money's exhaust, that's just what it is. And yet blacks have yet to receive any reparation or any specific hate crime legislation. I want to highlight Barack Obama, a child of an uh, immigrant African from Kenya and a white woman. He promised the black people change. He promised the world change. Things are going to get better. But when he became president, he took uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's speech. I had a dream about black children is going to have equality in America. Obama took that idea of being a dreamer and gave it to children of illegal immigrants who smuggled their children into the United States. And now they actually have set aside and colleges and jobs in the government set aside sp specifically for DACA recipients. Billions of dollars because Obama gave them uh, status and standing, legal standing. But he, he ignored black children like Trayvon Martin was a dreamer. You know, he was a he had dreams, but he's not considered a dreamer by Obama. The government don't recognize black children as dreamers, even though it was the black children who had to go, was forced into segregation, and had to deal with uh, unimaginable torment and torture from racist uh, white children and racist white society. Emmett Till was a dreamer. Dr. Martin Luther King was the dreamer, but. The black people who are the original dreamers aren't the beneficiaries of it. It's going to illegal immigrant children.